Welcome to another episode of the Subnautica Below Zero series. Uh, and I did some work off camera, so I'm going to do something a little different, and we're going to jump right into a montage of me doing that work. Now that we've seen that, as you saw, I built this guy up. I made it so that we can get coffee. You can't really do anything with this besides make it glow, but I love it. You can use this as storage, which I love. Um, this buddy. <laughs> so the thing with these jellies is when they sense you, they float towards you. So he has grown quite attached to our base. Sorry. I need you to sit somewhere else. <laughs> um, but it, it really helps drive home how big these guys are. It's kind of a two two story kind of guy. <laughs> Granted, this is one of the biggest ones I've seen out there. But good lord. So we got those built. We've got some water purification going on here. Luckily the power seems to be handling that just fine, which I appreciate. Um and then we've added this T-junction so that I can get in and out at the water. And then I've added a bedroom here so we can sleep through the night. Uh, it works pretty well on cutting out the water on this. Did you just, oh no, you dropped a whisker. I thought you drooled. <laughs> I 
Um, but this side, it does not clip quite as well. But that's okay. I think we'll mostly be looking out this general direction, so I'm happy with it. Even if we are stared at the entire time we sleep in here. <laughs> but yeah, love this view. So, I'm trying to decide what time it is. Basically trying to decide if it's turning night. I think it probably is. I wonder what he's looking at. Something off that way. Definitely turning night. Alright. Let's get some sleep. Ah. Good morning. What a view. And we can see the weather outside as well. As soon as we wake up. I love it. Well, so hopefully while we're out and about, that guy will drift away. They kind of randomly drift if you're not nearby. So I'm hoping he will find somewhere else to be. Do I have water on me? I should probably put some stuff away. I do need to build some more storage. Welcome I'll probably do that. Captain. Maybe some up here, some below maybe. I'm struggling with titanium, that is for sure. So I'm just gonna toss everything in here for now and then hope we bring back some titanium from our exploring. I heard a water just finish. That's good. I don't have any food on me. It's a bit of a problem. Oh, is it here where we cook that meal? So we need a pepper and a leaf. Are you ready to give me... thank you? And I think we just kniffy this. You must not be done growing. I need you so I can have a spicy salad that'll keep me warm and fill me up. Should have brought marble melon seeds as well, but for now we will grab... Is there... I don't know that I've really seen anything besides a peeper around here for fish, besides these big old jellies. Just gonna go ahead and cure this guy. Take that salt, since I actually need it. Shocker. Hear that peeper, so we have something on the road. Water, food, health, batteries. I think we're good. Hopefully this guy finishes rowing um, soon. But we shall go exploring out here. I was wondering if uh, you could use the thermal power on one of these, if that would work. I imagine it would only give bursts of power, but it'd be better than nothing. So I don't think the water there is particularly warm. It's quite a weird sound here. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's gone. So, ah. We've got the marker here up to... Silver. Or, I'll take it. And a copper. Oh, titanium. Thank you. So we've been through here. Uh, I think this will lead, oops, to, um, yeah, this landing pad. Oh, titanium. Perfect. All right. So I don't think we've gone off that general direction. It's quite the waterfall. I wonder if this place ever thaws or if it's like this all year round. No. Well, I guess we'll head out this way. Since I don't think we've been that way. Titanium. For a second I thought maybe that was a cave we could put our little spy pangling in. I guess we'll head out this way. It's quite the storm all of a sudden. She didn't even give me a warning. What is this? Have we scanned it? Yeah. Can I take anything out? No. Boy, am I glad that the knife no longer has a durability. <laughs> that was a pain in the butt. Especially because uh, they didn't have any way to dispose of things during that time. So you just had to have a cave where you threw all your garbage. Hey buddy, I don't know how to handle you in the wild. <laughs> a bone? 
Ah. I wonder what I've... A snow frog fragment. This might be our last one needed. <gasps> it is. Could maybe build one of them. Ooh, we've got a ladder in here. Okay. So this is somewhere they were researching potentially. Uh, we've got silver and copper. I think we're fine for now. <gasps> That's a new thing. Magnetite? Alright, I'll climb so I don't break my ankles. Ooh. It's a bit nauseating. I didn't expect it to turn the camera around. Alright, so let's grab these. Okay, let's keep going up higher. Because I do prefer having the high ground. <laughs> Hello. I'm afraid. Oh, there's another one. Can't remember. Was it light? Do I need a flare to deal with these guys? Suddenly, really wish I could crouch. <laughs> Snow stalker. Avoid if entering territory. Bring a bright light. And unpredictable noises have been shown to deter attacks. I don't know how to make any noise. But I might be able to throw a flare if necessary. That goes around. Kinda wish he wasn't heading up up here, because I was heading planning to go that direction soon. Anything of note down there? There's a lot of this ribcage down there, and I don't know why. Do they have like patrol paths? I've played a lot of Horizon Zero Dawn. I feel like I should be able to hide from this. Somehow. Ow. I guess falling works. I'm gonna be very upset if it turned around. It did. Okay. Of course it would. So it is kind of stalking me. And not that it has like a certain area it wants to go to. Ah, warmth. I'm gonna just kinda try to run by here. They don't seem to like run after you, they just slowly follow you, which is very unnerving. I imagine they might attack more aggressively if you got too close? Are you constant? Or are you gonna stop as soon as that's kind of what I thought? Hmm. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Well, that's inconvenient. Okay, I don't really want to make that jump. I know, Robin. I'm sorry. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere at the moment. Is this guy gonna do its thing anytime soon? I didn't think so. Need to get back down into that cave, but there's that stalker in between I us and no it. I'm working on it. Okay. okay, we had a good hot coffee. Ooh, that's... Eh. God, that sound is gonna start making me quite anxious. So I think I have uh, the blueprints for a thermal suit. Not sure if I have all of the parts for it though. Um, but that would be quite helpful. And now we have the final parts for the snow fox. Hello. So um, I might go home and try to make some of those things. These hail look massive. Robin's head must really hurt. <laughs> so let's get uh, 
some stuff built, now that I have some titanium. Ooh, actually... I need to get one of these built. Do I have any lithium on here? Dang, I have lead. Uh, I might check to see if the sea truck has anything, but I doubt it. No. Uh, any chance there's any around? I have a, I have a strong feeling it's not going to be in the area, though. <laughs> I'm so curious what's down there. Maybe we should check this out. this? Ah! Like, blocked. It looks really pretty, though. So we'll probably need some way to warm that up. You warm? Knock, knock. Okay. No, oh, no. Come back. Oh, maybe... Maybe the laser cutter. It gave me a percentage. But but this does not seem to be the proper tool. So maybe we'll upgrade the laser cutter at some point. It usually goes oh here the knife. So maybe we'll upgrade the laser cutter at some point. Because it does bring up a thing, but it doesn't do anything. So that's my guess. There's a fish in there. Can I come in? He didn't seem to want to let me in. Oh, I think I probably cut it out of the um, montage because that was an hour's worth of work that uh, I had to trim down into like three minutes. Um, I almost died from a lack of oxygen because I forgot I had to do that because now my meter is so big it just didn't occur to me <laughs> to be paying attention, so I got like the 30 second warning. I think I had two seconds when I got to the surface. <laughs> also, when we're at the main base, because I have a hunch that's where I'm going to get before I find any of this, um, I'll look to see what it takes to make the suit when I where I have most of my supplies and try to build it there. Okay, so lithium is on me now. So... Cold suit gloves. Snow stalker fur? How? Am I supposed to just run up and poke it? Okay. Not entirely sure what to do about that. What does it take to build this guy? A wire. Guy. Wow, that really doesn't take much. Okay. All right, and some titanium. And then, imagine once we're here, we'll have to build the snow fox. But we may be able to look in here. Uh, lubricant, battery titanium, magnetite. Okay, we gotta put some quartz away. Chill. Uh, yes, magnetite. So I'm pretty sure we just found some of that back where we were. Lubricant. Oh, we might actually have some in crafted. I do. So I forgot. I could just pin it to see that I have everything, but I do. I have everything. And we have everything to build the thing. Okay. Grab a spare titanium. And time to head back to the Oh no. Uh Oh, if you can hear that, it's raining here. Oh my god, it's dumping. But I have my window open, so you'd probably be able to hear it better than normal. Let's put four of those away and get some marble melons. Wait. Robin? There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, let's toss these guys in. Food. Perfect. Uh, and then I need to find a spot to build our 
snow fox thing. Maybe over here somewhere. This is a big open area. So maybe there? Uh, it's a bike, but it hovers. Constructing it. Ooh. Look at it go. Alright, hover back. Oh, we need a name. We've got 100% health and 100% battery. <gasps> we can change the color. Uh, interior. I guess it means the seat. White stripe. Oh, hi. <laughs> nice. Did turn the handle screen though. A little weird. Hi. Board it. Oh, we got an achievement. Like riding a bike. Okay, this is odd. Is it where you look? Kind of. This is side to side. You can back up. There's like a thing right here. I don't know what the symbol means. I assume this is... Um, maybe the battery? So if I want to turn around... Yeah, it's with the camera. Not my favorite. Uh, mechanism when it comes to driving things in games, but it'll do. So the this side one is speed. I still don't know what that is though. So let's turn it around and take this back. It's so quiet. Woo! Thanks! Board. Pick up. I can carry it? Do I just carry it on my back? It's like a backpack. Just trying to see where... There's the upgrades. So it looks like it has a... One upgrade. I'm very curious about... How you charge it. Ooh, I wonder if you change its battery while it's in your inventory. Kind of like you do the sea glide. So then... Aha. So I can just change it here. It's incredible it takes just a regular battery. Uh, I feel like there's something else I wanted to do. Ooh, there was one other thing. I did want a quick access up top. Um, but I, I have a hunch that will be a pain to accomplish. Oh my god, did that really work? It's inconvenient. Let's see. So I need to build a ladder up into this. Did it reach? Oh my god, it kind of did. <laughs> wow. Um, that was much easier than I anticipated. But I hate that it blocks this road. But the problem with it is from our base you have to go all the way around under this arch all the way down, all the way over to there, where there's a ramp that you can take to get up to this spot. And so by the time you get up here, you're very cold. And um, the heat around here is very inconsistent. I guess I'll leave that for now. It's hideous, but it works. Wow, it worked. Oh my god. This must have respawned or something, because I used my detector around here and it did not detect any um, titanium. So, what a lovely base we have going on here. So, I wanted to build this so we could build storage on it, because the base is at like one right now. Ooh, detecting some titanium. Yes. Okay, good. It's extra necessary to use this to get these little uh, veins because they're sometimes tricky to see. Oh, I need to make sure to get more coffee. 
while we're at the base. And another beacon. Okay. I don't remember both those. I may need to get the Preston's plant in a separate pot. Maybe like here. Because I can't seem to reach it. And I don't know if it's because it's not grown. Or what, but it, it has the little berries, so you'd think it'd be ready. But I might have to plant a new one here. Uh, coffee I can get, though. Because you just take your thermos and you plop it right in here. And then it warms up a cup of coffee for you. can't believe these marble melon are already done growing. Thank you. Preston's plant. Oh, here. Yes, okay. Stick you in there. So while we're in this menu, let's get... Beacons pinned. Ah, it's under machines. All right, so that'll remind us to make some of those next episode because I used one up for that, which is two drillable nodes of quartz and two drillable ores of copper. So I wanted to mark that. Uh, it would have been in the montage, but I may have cut that out, so. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed- Oh, hi! I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We, well, off camera I built on the base, so now it's more functioning. Uh, and I've gotten all the stuff for the snow fox, so that might make exploring a little easier. Um, so that'll be exciting. I need to figure out how to get fur off of those creatures. Or maybe there's a place where they nest where you'd find their fur. Don't know. Hopefully the snow fox will make it exploring around them a little easier because I don't like being followed by them, that's for sure. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.